Uh, today is my first tutorial in my Maya 2015 tutorial series. So uh, first we're going to talk about uh, the installation and um, this and that. So uh, first thing that you're going to do is that I would pick up <clears throat> the educational version which is www.autodesk.com forward slash education forward slash free dash software forward slash all. So basically just go into Google and type Autodesk Education and you should come to this one to this page here. It looks very similar to this and it has all of Autodesk's um, uh, programs in here. So what you want to do is you want to look for Maya and you can get the uh, two different ones here. So my LT is Maya Lite which is pretty new which is used like it says for Indian mobile game developers but what we're gonna use is we're gonna use the full version of Maya so just click on Maya and then uh, sign in for a free license here and then uh, sign in to register and then you just ch uh, click 2015 version language English or whatever operating system 64 bit or whatever bit you have 86 which is 32 bit or 64 bit alrighty so after you do that uh, go ahead and install everything. Now there are a couple hitches with the install. Um, my antivirus or my uh, firewall was blasting away, so <laughs> was getting a false positive on one of the uh, plugins called Bifrost. So if you get a if you get a error saying that the Bifrost common um, precompiled something or other graphs uh, file has not been found and you notice that uh, it keeps deleting your your file your your folder that you were using because I installed mine on my on a separate drive not my not by an operating system drive so it kept deleting that file so basically what you want to do is you want to turn off your antivirus or and uh, also disable your firewall until you're done and then re-enable all that stuff then what you want to do is try that again and it should install all the way and just install it with all that stuff, the the direct connect um, and the uh, uh, what is it called? My uh, um, the other rendering engine you see on there. Let's go ahead and uh, oh, Mental Ray, Mental Ray, Maya Mental Ray for 2015. Just install that stuff as well on top and uh, yeah, and it shouldn't take too long. I just went and ate dinner and came back and it was done. And uh, I previously had the 2014 version, so, you know, it's not really that different. Anyways, so basically what happens is once you start it up, it will say it will work on your license and give you a free license. Also, guys, do not use this to make money with. I mean, you know, respect the uh, the builders of the software. And uh, if you have the money, buy it. Just going to throw that out there. Uh, and then it's got these two startup things, and you'll notice that there's also this other pop-up window. The pop-up window is for Windows version, not uh, Mac version. This this tutorial should also work for Mac, but the uh, the hotkeys are a little different. So this I'm running Windows system. Uh, yeah. All right. So uh, you know, I guess I'll just go over some of the um, hotkeys here and how to move around so and also some of the stuff here I guess I'll go over the interface uh, here's like a I don't I'm not gonna bore you with you know the actual terms of this this is just a toolbar with you know buttons on it and then here is where you switch the different toolbars at the top if you notice I change the surfaces the toolbar changes change back to animation the toolbar, cha toolbar changes and then this is all your component modes to change different things, you know, snapping to the grid, curve snapping, point snapping, you know, all that stuff. Make action, make it live, make selected object live, etc., etc. This here is the view panel, and uh, what we'll go over is how to do uh, different types of panel setups. So here we have um, layouts, two panels side by side, etc., etc. And then we have these guys over here. So I'm going to go over the hotkeys and how to navigate around this window. So what you want to do is if you hold the alt button and you left click, you could, uh, whatever this one is, rotate. 
they have like special words for it. I never remember it what it is. And then zoom is the mouse wheel. Uh, the mouse wheel up it goes in. The mouse wheel down goes out. And then if you hold Alt right click, this is a dolly. And that's to zoom in and out. So that's Alt right click. So Alt left click, Alt right click. Does all your stuff there. Also, if you want to pan, you hit Alt and hold down the middle mouse button, and you pan around the scene, as you see there. It goes around, you notice that. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, and then let's go over these, these quick hotkeys over here. So as you see here, I'm changing stuff without actually touching it. So Q is, this is a select tool, then you have uh, W is the move tool, E is the rotate tool, and uh, R is the scale tool. I will try to refrain from doing too many, I'm not really a, a hotkey type of person, but these you definitely need to use the hotkeys. So uh, I'll probably just end this here, and uh, we'll get started in the next one. Just messing around, you know, getting getting used to, uh, you know, uh, resizing objects, this and that, the different types of surfaces, and uh, the different types of things that we can put inside of a scene, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I would, right now, I'd probably tell you what I'm gonna do inside the tutorial series, but I'm not completely sure. We'll probably just do some different modeling stuff and. Maybe mess around with the rendering engine a little bit. You know, here's you know rendering out of. There's nothing in the scene there. I feel like I dropped a cube. And render it. You see the cube there. And then maybe we'll do some videos and uh, you know messing around with the animation. But we'll probably stick with uh, modeling because um, if you're if you're familiar with my channel, I'm a programmer as well and. I like to mess around with game engines and games and you know this and that. So, so this is uh, probably gonna stay more with uh, surface modeling, just the modeling, not too much of the rendering engine because you would mess with a rendering engine inside your, um, I mean your your animation engine inside of your um, game engine, depending on what you're using. So uh, we'll just see how it goes. All right, so this has been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials. Like, thank you for watching my first video of uh, beginning Maya. 2015. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos in this series, as it's probably going to be a long one. There's a lot of stuff to cover, and uh, other series like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I haven't really got a reference book for it. I'm still looking for a good one for you guys if you want to study more of the terminology, this and that. You know, to be able to uh, communicate to some other, to somebody else that's um, working with you or whatever. Alright, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.